Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's gonna become a bit complicated because I have to go back and explain something um, I have this Lenovo X3650 model 4 which was graciously donated to me um, because my other one died in the meanwhile I've also exchanged the system board or more or less the whole system on that server with another one and um, there I got an advanced feature key that enables remote access of the server but this one that was donated that did not have that one and I just happened to have the one from the dead system board that died but to get that to up and running on this server I actually have to um, tell this server this system board that its serial number is the same as the old one that died um, so I'm actually gonna try and see if I can get that up and running today normally this is something that the IBM technicians will do or Lenovo technicians will do when they replace a system board but my system board was just two months out of warranty so I had to do it myself but I kind of gather that I have that key because well I gather that so we're gonna try and see if we can get that oven running on this server and change the serial well we're gonna do it in the opposite direction we're gonna change the serial number and then we're gonna see if the feature on demand remote access key for this server will work if it will take it otherwise I'll definitely change the serial number back if it isn't working as this is something that a Lenovo technicians or an IBM technicians normally do it's not something that you often do yourself and finding information online where and how to do this well it was kind of sparesome so um, yeah we're gonna be going into the computer and see if we can do this uh, while you're at it waiting for that please give this video a like that helps the videos so um, moving into the computer while this boots okay um i found here on lenovo's form which i lately haven't had too much luck at but we're gonna try again and someone else has asked a question here um, serial number update on an X3650 model 4 which is exactly the model that I need um, before this model it was not a piece of software or a software key it was actually a physical key so the model 4 was the first one where it's kind of an FOA key feature on the oh it's an FOD code feature on demand code so I found someone asked this question here and further down um, someone replied uh, right here and he says that you need to download the IBM ASU at advanced settings utilities from IBM and as the model 4 is pretty old um, this one is the one that you want so I pressed that one and we went directly to IBM's homepage right here and if we scroll down it's available here in a 32-bit edition and a 64-bit edition I downloaded this 64-bit edition uh, the ASU is kind of a dash utility or a scripting tool thing where you can do a lot of the stuff that you would normally start the web browser and use the IMM for but it's available in a in a dust command line thingy as well i don't widely use that i've only used it i think once before so today we are going um, to see if we can make this happen i downloaded that one and i put it here in a folder um, temp directory asu i called it and i hit that exit file and it uh, unzipped and revealed these other files there and this one is the one that we're going to be using the most 
there. Um, so I have a dust prompt open here. And if we type ASU64, it will tell us different stuff that we can do. So that's all good. Happy, happy joy. Um, and then we can go back to our help solution here and see different stuff. Where was there? He writes down here that I have to punch in this command to change the serial number. Where this little bit is the serial number that I need to punch in. I am so lucky that I took a backup of that feature on demand code from that system. Um, I do actually believe that I did it in a video because I know it's next to impossible to get that code out again when you, um, if you don't have that system board anymore. It should be possible to contact IBM slash Lenovo and if the system board has been registered with well, they can kind of resend it, but it's way easier to just back that up yourself. Um, so I, I need to punch in this command uh, with a serial number um, like that. But to, s to connect to the server, um, I found another command that will kind of... Oh, where is that? That's not it. It's not important. Here in the manual that will reveal all the settings in the IMM. So we're gonna borrow that one here and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna punch that in there. Uh, this assumes that it's the 32-bit edition so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna Type in that we are dealing with the 64-bit edition. We are going to change the IP number. That's that one. Then we are going to change the pass, the, the username and the password for the IMM. And that's the default on this one. User ID. And the password over here is... Oh. That didn't go well. And the password is password. With a zero instead of an O. Password. Here. And it will connect to the IMM of the server. This will just take a bit. I uh, tested so far. This far I've tested this. And it did connect to the server, and it did tell me all the settings that is in there. There we are. It just posted all the settings in there. And if we go up... There. Um, it actually tells me the system there. And that corresponds with what we saw over here. We have system product data right there. And we have that there, system product data. And there is system info serial number. And that's the same as over here. So my best guess is that I can reuse this command that I just punched in and, and, and put this in instead. So, um, that was my hope. So, we're gonna go go try that. There. So, we will retype that. And over here at the start, where it just says show all, that was the command that we actually put in. So, we're gonna borrow this piece here to there. And put that in instead. So we're gonna put that in there. Delete the show all. And then we need the serial number to put in. And I have found that I have the backup one here in. It's still in download actually. It's very important not just to delete everything in download because. Alright. 
here is my key for the IMM and it's actually part of the name this server is in 7950 and the serial number is 06cc blah 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 that one so we're gonna borrow that and we're gonna put that in right there I don't see anything wrong with that so let's just go to the end and punch enter and see what happens it's connecting waiting for it to call the command completed that was too easy I have heard that you should probably reboot the IMM but we could just go check we can do this from here so let's log in here there let's check system information we still have the old serial number here so we will try and reboot it so restart IMM are you sure? I'm pretty sure so it's restarting okay I think I've given the IMM time enough to boot so let's uh, log in it, if it has changed its serial number I hope so otherwise it's back to the drawing board there we are system information and we have a new serial number awesome that means right now we can go in and see remote control here uh, this feature requires a valid activation key to be installed yes it does and that's why we can go over here down into active key activation key management there and we can see that there is nothing so now I should be able to go out and select the files in the download menu here's that one open and click OK and success and close and we're all good to go ha <laughs> this was too easy <laughs> um, can we then go back and do the remote control yep we are now allowed to do the remote control. I probably have to do a lot of crap to have it uh, use the Yammer and stuff, but could just see that. Here we go, Yammer. I am guessing that it will be complaining from here to hell, and it's not gonna be letting me in. That's my prediction, anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Right, go, go, go. Oh, it actually works, so predictions wrong. And we are in the BIOS of the server. Awesome. <laughs> cool. That was a lot easier than I had predicted. I was sure that I was going to be messing around with that for at least a couple of hours. This video actually took me half an hour. What the hell am I going to do with the rest of the day? So, awesome. The new working X3650 Model 4 is also out of warranty, it's from 2012. The other one, the one that died, was from 2014. So both servers have been out of warranty for a little bit. So um, that's why I have to do this myself. Well, now if you run into this, you will kind of know how to do it. It's not that hard. You can just copy what I did. So. Uh, Remember to like this video and thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.